Lisa Hanna is here. She's a beauty editor for Fashion Magazine. We're talking about your Reader's Choice Awards for 2014. Good morning. Good morning. Love this. I was saying a little while ago, um, <laughs> we, I, you know, we get to do this once a year, and it's exactly what it sounds like. Canadians yes. vote on all of the beauty products yes. that they like the best. Yes, we, it's in our 12th year now, so we just like to do it. We like doing it because this, we spend the rest of the year telling readers what we think, and this is their opportunity to tell us what they think. So it's always interesting to see the results. Yep. And isn't that the one that you always feel like you really believe in when your girlfriend or somebody says, I love this, like when yeah, it's that exactly. person telling you And so. it kind of um, gives us a little bit of insight into like what's happening sort of trend-wise in the marketplace. All right. Let's start over on your side, exfoliator. Okay, well, St. Ives exfoliator, I mean, that's been winning, I would say, probably for at least a decade, if not more. Mm -hmm. um, it's a classic. I actually, this was my first exfoliator in grade five, so um, it's kind of like a classic item. It works really well, and people seem to gravitate and go back to it over and over again. I was the same way. That was my first one that I ever bought. Yeah, BB there cream you go. is relatively new. Yeah, it's actually a new category that we added because we were seeing this trend of like BB cream sort of exploding, and so we decided to add it as a category and Garnier won. They're actually the first to come to market with it. I mean BB creams come from Korea but yep. Garnier was the first to bring it to sort of the North American marketplace and this speaks to them being sort of first out of the gate because they won. Right. Interesting. And then this <laughs> is what? This is nail art. Uh, that was another category that was new for us because nail polish sort of exploded in its own and then nail art which traditionally you could only really get professionally done in a nail bar or salon uh, companies started making um, little kind of d DIY ways to do it at home. So these are actually nail polish um, stickers, but they're actually made with polish, so you remove them with polish. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, because that can cost a fortune if you're going to get it done. Oh, yeah, to go back salon. for the removal, but you can take these off yourself. Okay, and you know, so many classics, like the St. Ives is a classic. Yeah, I mean, Chanel God, number five. I don't, can't think of a year when they didn't win. Fragrance, they, it's been around since the 20s. So it's, you know, show, there's just, no one can take them down, really. It's like such yeah. a classic, and how, how, how can you compete with those double Cs? I, you cannot. <laughs> no. And I, that is probably one of the first perfumes I ever wore, and I think I still have a yeah. bottle around. Yeah, and what's interesting is they just, uh, that poster of Marilyn Monroe putting it on, they just brought her out as like the new sort of ad campaign. So it's like, kind of speaks to their sort of legacy as like Marilyn yeah. Monroe saying, I don't put anything on for bed before, unless it's that. Yeah, that's what all she yeah. wears to bed. And Lush is a soap? Lush is winner for soap, and that was fun because they've never won before. Ooh, so it's nice to good. see a bit of like a little underdog brand. Um, who's not sort of everywhere in the mass market mm -hmm. and sort of taking over that category. Mm -hmm. I'm such a fan of dry shampoo, but mm, they are not all created they equal. They are not all created equal. Some are clear, some are colored. Um, you know, every, they're great for people who have fine hair, people who are lazy, don't want to wash their hair every day. Yeah. Um, even Karl Lagerfeld uses one. Really? Yeah, his favorite, yeah. He has a, I think he uses the one that's actually tinted white. No kidding. Yeah. Well, if it's got his stamp, then, you know, yeah, exactly. <laughs> we can all go for it. Uh -huh. Burt's Bees is another uh, they, yeah, product Yeah, they win every year for lip balm, and it actually makes me really happy because I have a soft spot for natural products, so I love that Burt's Bees wins year after year for lip balm, and they actually came out with a tinted version. Um, I think it was last year, and that is also amazing, too. It's kind of a way where my daughter is like, can I wear lipstick? And I'm like, uh, I'll give you tinted balm. And then I sort of cheat my way into oh, giving her color. Oh, smart. That's a good <laughs> way to go. I must... I know I read your list every year because I'm noticing more and more that I use all of these things. And oh, this is another one that yeah. I think is great, the Jurgens. Yeah, the Jurgens again, for self-tanner, it's really sort of goof-proof. They really sort of created this new category of diluting it a bit with moisturizer so you could control it more yeah. and uh, not have to worry about it sticking to your clothes. You don't get those big orange patches. Exactly. And it's got a decent smell. Totally. Some of oh, just, that was a huge, uh, a, a sort of a, a turnoff for a lot of people, so they were able to mask that. Yeah. Now this year, when you were telling me, uh, just during the break, is a trend. I haven't even heard about this yet. Yeah, so in lip gloss, what was so interesting was that CoverGirl won, but it was this this their jumbo gloss balm and and that was so interesting interesting to me because it's getting away from the sort of the the wand stickiness but it's this whole thing about um, chunky pencils which I feel like sort of speaks to nostalgia we like the idea of like feeling like it's playing with a crayon mm -hmm. um, they're really fun to use they're portable and I'm I don't know I just I'm sort of a 
obsessed myself with like the idea of using a big crayon to color my lips. I know. As soon as I saw it, I'm like, this is fun. It's totally fun. So the Reader's Choice Awards, they're out now? Yes. The, our February issue came out on newsstands yesterday, uh -huh. and so all the winners are listed in there. Wonderful. And we have a gift basket to give away with a whole bunch of the winning products. Mm -hmm. Email us at info at morningshow.ca for your chance to win. Lisa Hanna, beauty editor for Fashion Magazine. Thank you. Thank you.